so close, like I can't just yeah. not do it while I'm right here. What's up guys, Alex here, Ampy TV. you know what it is. What we're gonna do is, I've been asked a lot, whenever I'm following somebody or where we're going somewhere, and we encounter the enemy, which is stairs, they wonder, can you go upstairs? They turn around, they ask me, uh, are we good? Do we need to use an elevator? Well, you know what? That's a great question because a lot of amputees handle stairs a lot differently than others. And so I'm gonna focus on the topic today so you can see how I, as a double amputee, go up or go downstairs. And I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of insight to some other amputees and how they might tackle stairs differently than I do. So the, okay, so the thing is, is I'm a double below the knee amputee, right? So I've been this way, if you know my story, which if you don't, Link to the video in one of these cards, I don't know where it's gonna show up. If you don't know my story, I've been an amputee my whole life, so at this point, I'm pretty used to it. So whenever people are asking me, you know, if I need uh, an elevator or whatever, you know, I tell them that it's fine, I can just run up and down the stairs. Because guys, for me, it's really not an issue, I can't lie. But, it's, it's not like that for everybody. With me, we got some stairs right here. For me, really, even though these are, these are pretty small stairs, okay, uh, steeper stairs can be a little bit more difficult, but these I just thought would be a good, nice, well-lit area to where we can show you guys. When I go upstairs, I don't need to use a handrail or anything. I can just walk right up. And it's a pretty similar story when I'm going down. I don't need a handrail. I can go pretty fast running down. So it's not too bad. Uh, I don't really struggle too much unless, like I said, they're like really steep or something, then I might, you know, prefer a handrail. Or if I'm holding something, I'll probably want to use a handrail or take my time. Fortunate enough to have that ability to be able to go up and down the stairs relatively easily. Um, which brings me to my next point, which is whenever I first started talking to some other amputees, when I was on set in uh, Richmond, Virginia for the TV show I was on called Mercy Street. There was another amputee and he was super funny, super cool. He got around really well, but then we were actually filming at a building that was actually very similar to this one where it was like, it was a big building and then it had stairs in the front. And whenever it was time for him to go up the stairs, I was shocked because whenever I saw him, this is how he was going up the stairs. And he was only a single amputee, by the way, single below the knee amputee. He took it one at a time. And then same way, same way going down. Going down, it was very, very slow one at a time. To me, that was kind of mind blowing because I had always just ran up and down the stairs and not even like thought twice about it. But whenever I saw, his name was actually Mario, <laughs> believe it or not, Mario, he was so funny. But he, even though he was like, you know, only had one single below the knee amputation, which is like, you know, less so than what I have, he was even like less quote unquote able to go up and down the stairs. And I started to think about like why that was. And so that brings me to my next point that I want to touch on a little bit is that even though you see me out here or you see other amputees out here like, you know, doing these things, uh, if you do happen to see amputees, I mean, Jason, how often do you see amputees? Not that often. Yeah, I, even me, I didn't, I didn't meet another amputee until I was either 19 or 20. And I've been an amputee my whole life. The thing is, is like, Different amputees have different levels of comfort, they have different hardware, they have different ways that they wear their legs which enables them to do and not do certain things such as, you know, swimming. Like I can swim with my legs, video coming soon, and some people can't, you know, it's just, there's such a difference in hardware sometimes that it just black and white defines what you can and can't do to an extent. Uh, like with my, that's why I have running blades, because even though these blades like, or not even these blades, but even though... <laughs> Even though I could technically run in my old legs, it was painful, I would bleed, it was, you know, awkward as hell, it was just the worst experience ever, and like, nobody would ever pass that off as running. But that's why, you know, running blades, the, the, minute, the minute I got on running blades, it was like immediate, it was like I've been wearing them my whole life. And it's just crazy because hardware can make such a black and white difference like that. Like, that's why it's so important for other amputees, so if you're an amputee listening to this, uh, you know, make sure that you're testing different feet, make sure that you're trying out different hardware because you have that right uh, at your clinic to test out and trial different feet. So just a side note there, um, other amputees might not be able to take the stairs as quick, 
Some also can, but also some might need to use the elevator. Some might not feel comfortable enough. Some might not be experienced enough. Some might not be strong enough. Um, and some amputees are still in wheelchairs. Some use wheelchairs the majority of the time. They can't walk on their uh, they can't walk on their prosthetic that long. So it's just there's a big difference, you know, in the ability of different amputees based on so many different factors. So I don't. I don't get offended when people ask me if we need to take the elevator or if the stairs are okay. I personally actually, I don't mind it, I think it's thoughtful of them, um, but also I'm, I'm not offended personally when they don't because you know I feel like I do get around pretty well so whenever they forget to ask I, I feel like that's a little bit of a compliment if anything. I just wanted to let you guys know kind of the rundown with stairs because like I said it, it just gets brought up all the time and it's a big like assess accessibility thing. Because um, of course, you know, other amputees might still need to use ramps and uh, elevators, which is perfectly fine. As long as the place you're going to is accessible, which we're actually just taking a look at this. The front, <laughs> the front of this is not very accessible. There's, there's actually no way to get to that front door, but there's a back entrance here, so we'll let that slide, and that's where the parking lot is. Alright, so what do you think, Jason? Did they learn something today? I think so. Okay, cool. Well, if you did learn some, hopefully you smash that freaking like button and subscribe if you want to learn some more. And also, don't forget to check out my music video, Nub Walk, which is on my channel right now. And uh, have a great day. I'm so close. Like, I can't just yeah. not do it while I'm right here. Oh, shit. Hold up. Don't even try it. I don't think so.